Right, Crossword here, we've got online answering your questions uh, from Facebook this week. Damien asks, can you help with tips to up and coming amateur golfers who aspire to become pros? Good question, Damien. Um, get as good as you can get. Now, if you're talking about becoming a pro like the ones you see on the telly, let's call them tall pros, um, there are some certain benchmarks you need to hit. There are a few exception, exceptions, but general rule, um, you will find the best players, say, European Tour and PGA Tour, but let's go European Tour because I know the, the route more because it's a route I tried to do as a young player. Um, you've got to be competing in national events and international events. Karis Trophy. If, let's say you're under 18. Karis Trophy, British Boys. Um, used to be the Midland Open when I was younger. Um, there's lots of uh, things like the Tillman, English Amateur, British Amateur, which are not under 18s. They're any age. Uh, you just got to be very good. You've got to be competing in those and you've got to be competing like you've got to be turning up and making, an, uh, uh, making a bit of an impact on that event. You'll find those people who are are the names that then go on and uh, have a career in golf if they keep their game in a good place. Uh, so for aspiring young people to become those kind of pros, get in those international events. I sit so often in golf, certainly with social media nowadays as well. It does make me giggle. Um, there are results and then there is talking. Uh, and there's lots of talking that happens through social media. And I saw all the way through my amateur career, you'd get amateurs who play at their local clubs, and they're quite big fishes in their local clubs, you know, they're the best player and what have you. You put them in a national, even a county level, but even a national level, and it shows them up for what they really are, which is good when you put them against four handicappers, not good when you put them against plus two, three handicappers from around Europe or around uh, the country. So you've got to try and pitch yourself out there at the highest level and be making an impact. That will be a good benchmark if you can progress on. Now, if you're talking about becoming a PGA pro like myself, so I wanted to do the tour pro route and I did pitch myself out there and had a few results but got to a certain age and kind of ran out of interest and drive, if you like. Um, if you want to become a PGA pro, that's quite a different thing. You want to try and keep your business head on your shoulders as much as your playing head. Um, try and think about ways of bettering yourself with your ideas around swing if you want to coach. If you're going to retail, be a club pro and sell equipment, keep up to date with equipment, uh, get good business acumen, get good business skills around running a small business. Those things as a PGA pro are more important than you going out there and shoot level part, in my opinion. The most successful PGA pros I know don't play golf. They retail really well, they teach really well. Um, you got others who are branching off like myself into kind of media uh, things as well. There are opportunities, um, but not when you get bogged down with just playing golf. Hope that helps. Good luck, Damien, if you are getting out there to play. Let me know if that helps. Mm -hmm.